Hey everyone, hope you're doing fine. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can create the 3D screen effect right inside of Adobe Premiere without using any plugin or any preset. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. As you can see, I already dropped a video clip right here. So the first effect we have to be used is Basic 3D. For that, just go to Effects and search Basic 3D right here. So as you can see under the perspective we got a basic 3d just drop it on your clip and now go to effects control so here we got some option from basic 3d so let me explain you these features so the first option we got is survival if you increase or decrease the survival it just rotate your footage from right to left and if you talk about tilt if you increase or decrease the tilt it just rotate your footage from top to bottom and bottom to top and the third option we got is distance to emit it's the same as scale because it is used to scale in or scale out you can also do that with scale but it is more convenient to use it with a basic 3d distance to image option so first of all we have to create the keyframes for that i'm just going to create the keyframe of position scale because i will use it later that's why i create the keyframes about position and scale as well so i'm just go with tilt survival and just like that and distance as well so first of all i have to change the survival will values to minus like that because I want to rotate it from left to right you can also change it with a uh, right to left or left to right it actually depend on your footage and depend on your basic plan so it is fine for me minus 20 value is actually fine for me so now let's change the tilt value like that it's actually fine for me now increase the distance to image we have to increase the scale in of our footage because it's look like weird so i have to zoom in So once you satisfy with your values, it actually depend upon your concept and your footage. So once you satisfy with the values, we have to move forward with keyframes. So as you can see, my footage is moving right here. So now I have to change my survival values to positive to move it from right to left. So let's do it. So as you can see, I changed my survival value into minus 0.2. You can also change a tilt a little bit if you think a tilt is a little bit more. So I think so it's actually perfect values for me. Yep, now that's the perfect values for me. So now let's take a look. So as you can see our 3d screen effect is just ready so in addition to make it more realistic i have to be put some more effects in our footage so just go to effects and search gaussian blur so as you can see under the blur we got a gaussian blur just drop it on our footage so now let's move to effects control and drop your gaussian blur to the top of basic 3d so now let's change the blurness value to 10 or 12 is actually depend upon your footage or your concept so now let's make a mask right here because the main part of my footage is adding the adjustment layer in my footage so now i'm just make this circle around here and now make sure you check the inward option right here so i want to make my so here is the my main part of my footage so our footage is just continuously moving so we have to make a keyframe right here so we can change the our mask around our footage so as you can see our footage is just going on going on so now we have to move our mask around our footage as well that's really more realistic to adding the blurness in your footage so now is uh, as you can see it's actually the appearance of blurness out of our footage so to make it more good we have to add some feather so i really suggest to you to go with 100 or 150 value it's actually work for me and i hope so it's work for you as well so i changed the value to 150 right there so as you can see it is more realistic to add a blur in your footage so the last effect we are going to be use is lens distortion so for that just go to effects and here in the video effect just go to the distortion and here you got a lens distortion right here just drop it on our footage so at the very bottom we got a lens distortion right here so here we got a curvature so if you increase the curvature it's just looking more weird so i'm just going with 
with a minus values and minus seven and minus five is actually really good for me you can do it according to your footage and as you can see our 3d effect is just ready so have a look so you can use this effect for your screenshot, for your screen recorder and for your images as well. So yeah, here is the video of today. I hope you get something helpful from this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any problem about this tutorial or any other tutorial. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video.